All right. Hi, I'm Sly. I'm Bugsy. And welcome to our world. <laughs> so here's my little sister, my baby sister, Bugsy. Yeah, we're having a day, just the yeah. two of us. Mike asked, anybody going with you? No, I said, it's just me and my brother, that's it. So. Yeah, so yeah, we, I, I, I don't... didn't invite nobody. Yeah. This is one-on-one. Yep. Yeah. Right. Decided to take the dogs out for a little walk today. It have been the first time I took Aspen out this year, I know that. And deer hunting, gun hunting's over with, so it's kind of safe to be out here, but there's still some bow hunters that you try to stay away from. We didn't go to a couple spots because they had vehicles in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So our first week of January, hunting season, bow hunting's till the end of the month, so just gotta be a little cautious. Yeah, we gotta get her uh Especially with Kona, she looks like a wolf. She does. Aspen, she's a albino. Yep. I'm going to check out all the wind damage down here. Try to find a shed. If there's any shed. Uh, just out for a walk. 20 some degrees out of First week of January, so not a bad day to go for a walk. Yeah, I got some wind damage here. Is this the same one you think that is by mom and dad's? We're right behind mom and dad's right now. Yeah. Oh, about okay. three quarters of a mile. Okay. So we're in us. here about a half a mile and hopefully we got these two calmed down by now because they've been all over the place. Yeah. So. What do you got? What do you got? Check out this peninsula here. <laughs> See if there's anything in here worth looking at. I have not seen a deer track yet. Oh, there's some old deer tracks. There we go. Oh, we do. Sound out if you see a shed or something. I will. You ever find one? I have never found one. Well, keep your eyes open. I'm just so amazed at that one that you took out when you were, I think you were sitting in your stand or yeah. just off it. Well, the, the sun was hitting it just right, it was white. And usually if you see something white on the ground, it's not usual in the leaves. You know? right. That's all serious for mouths. It's, so, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I see now. I don't know if they usually put them that high or not. Usually it was like three feet off, but that looks like it's about four feet off the water line. Yeah. But maybe in the spring, this water is a little higher. They actually yeah, lay the, their eggs in there? The mallard's nest in it, yeah, it keeps them off the ground. That right there, probably a badger. Really? Oh, it's a badger skunk. Cool. I don't see a lot of earth up around here, so I don't think it's, unless it's an old badger hut. A little bit of dirt there. Somebody decided to come out in the woods with a pair of shoes that can't even walk over sticks without getting poked oh, through the bottom. <laughs> yes, I gotta get better shoes. Well, I yeah, they, get yourself some of these. These these lasted through Alaska. Yeah, walking on gravel. We weren't walking on gravel. You weren't we went out off-road. When you were in Alaska, you did no off-the-trail hiking. We did a little bit. Didn't you see the video? <laughs> you were out in the wilderness with the bears. I was. If I had to run and I stepped on a stick, I'd be in big trouble. Mike would have lived, though. Yeah. I, those, those shoes right there? Yeah. They would go in the garbage. They're, well, they're, Never made... Well, well, you're a city girl, so you're used to work, walking on pavement. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're right. I hardly ever come out in the woods in the wild anymore. That's right. You do go camping. You've never seen someone put a stick right through their shoe? No. No, because normal people wear shoes that don't have, like... I don't know if there's foam soles on them. Or Listen, what. you gotta look good while you're walking in the woods. <laughs> the dogs like it out here. Oh, yeah. A lot easier walking. Here's a muskrat hut. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Cool. I gotta see 
Kona's checking it out. Here's her little escape hole that's froze over. Oh, yeah. That's where they got, uh, well, they were coming in and out of that hole until it got too cold. What is that, Kona? Kona, what is that? What is that? It's ice. Yeah. As long as this is froze, you want to go to that island? We can. Let's go to that island. I've never, I've never been oh, out girl. there. We made it out to this little island out here. Oh, uh, that was a decent sized bucket, so I had to hang out. <laughs> At least a dark. Are you doing okay? Yep. I got you tired out yet? No. I like this. Alright. I didn't, you know, I made it through that without getting a stick in my shoe, so. Go lead the way, find We're the good. shed. Really? Find the shed on this hill. You know what you're looking for? Horn. Oops. I want you to find one. I ever tell you the story about when I took the shell out? Uh-uh. Before her and Matt got married, she wanted to go, she wanted to put some sheds on all the tables for oh. at the dinner. Yeah. So I go, well, you gotta find something. So we went out in uh, March. Still snow on the ground, nice all froze. I go, you see that little island out there? Go out by the island, there's a pine tree. There's a pine tree on it. I said, that's the perfect spot for them to lay down. And usually where they bed, that's where you're gonna find a shed. You got a good chance to find a shed anyway. So, I sent her over there. We're back, me and Brady and Matt are watching her. She walks up there, she goes by it. And all of a sudden she's going off into the marsh again. I'm like, what is she doing? You know, I go, I gotta go over there. She's going too far. So, I walk over there. I wasn't in there two steps and there's a half a 10 pointer laying there. In the, like, just like this right here, <laughs> laying on the flat leaves. She went right by it? Walked right by it. So I <laughs> That's called her back I would do. and I go, hey, come over here and check this out. I go, look around a little bit. See if you find anything. She's looking around, she's looking around, she's looking around and it's right there. And she goes, oh, you put that there. I go, I did not put that there. <laughs> I go, I go, you gotta get an eye for it. Yeah, well, like I said, I don't, I couldn't even see it when you were pointing at it, going, look at the way the sun, it's over there. Well, you couldn't see it from the camera until you got up to it. <laughs> Together, there's something in the ground. Athen, what do you got? Hey! Hey, stop. What are you digging around here? There ain't nothing but acorns. I don't know how old these acorns are, but... I got a niche! I got a niche! You found something to roll in. What do you got? Hey! Come on! Is rolling in it? Yeah, he's rolling in something dead over here. I don't know. I don't see it. It looks pretty safe. A little slick. Don't fall on your butt. <laughs> we made it to the eagle tree. Giant cottonwood. Cool. Well, okay. Do you want me to turn we'll it towards you? We'll walk straight at it and don't veer off. And uh, cause as soon as you veer off or something, that's when it's gonna Right. Try take off. So see how close we can get to it. Dogs won't make it go well, away. They'll stay in front of us. Good. It's I that eagle's safe. Yeah. It knows it's safe. Right. <laughs> and the other one's way over there. But that big cottonwood. Mm-hmm. Right at the top of it too. It's so far oh, away. It goes. Off. Oh bummer. <laughs> See. Guess we should have stayed walking. Let's see where it ends up going. As soon as we turned a little bit, we could have kept walking. So. Oh. Bailed. Didn't like that twig. <laughs> make, it's a big bird. Come around. I got to kind of come around again. <laughs> they have a big bird. Uh huh. There we go. There. Found that. That's a little bit better. 
reception. Got reception? Yeah. So whatever, that's where we parked. But I didn't turn it on until we were halfway through that 40. Oh, that's a 40. There's a half a mile. A mile. Maybe a mile and a half. Seems like we're walking longer than that, though. We stopped a lot, yeah, though. Yeah, we did stop a lot. Aspen's like, come on, what are you stopping for? <laughs> what story? What's your favorite story from when you were a kid? I don't have any favorite story. Really? No. Um, well, I am the youngest, and I only remember bits and pieces of when you were in the house. Yeah. Um, I do not remember when you were in high school at all. I was 10 when you graduated. Well, we were drinking all the time in high school, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not me. I was a good girl. That's true, that's me. Yeah. Mom swore that you set up the table with all my dolls playing poker. Remember when I had that wooden table with the little chairs and all of my dolls were set up on it and they were playing cards? And mom swears that you set it up so that those... You ask her. She swears you did it. She I goes, one of those boys that. had to do it. It was probably Brian. I don't remember that. Playing cards. <laughs> well, I don't know who did it, but... Um, what about you? You don't have... Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. Other than the bear. That's a memory you have of me running home because of the bear. The bear? Or when I was running. I think I was in junior high. Come home, squealing. <laughs> there was no bear. You saw a bear on the oh, road. No. You didn't see any bear in 1980 or whatever year that was. It was 87. It had to be because I was in. I know I was in junior high. Because we don't have bears. No, we don't. That was the weird thing. Yeah. I and, <laughs> at the zoo you see bear, but you people don't see bear. People are shocked nowadays that you, you say you've seen a bear around here. And, uh, I know when Woody was baiting, he had a dozen bears coming in in one spot, so there's uh. a lot more around here than you think. I found two dens in Deer Creek one winter that I stuck my head in on one and then I was, ah, I didn't want to go any further. Right. And, uh, it took, uh, when Libby was still around, I took Aspen and Libby out and did this one way back in uh, the Tamrex. Mm -hmm. And we, I got all the way back there because I just sort of deer yard up back there. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I get back there, it's, there's a lot of tracks. And then I come upon, all of a sudden there's all wolf tracks everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as I started yelling, you know, they're always in sight. Right. But all of a sudden, I call them because they see all the wolf tracks and right. wolves and dogs don't get along. No. And they're um, not going to win. So I kind of panic because she's just a pup. Uh-huh. And I don't want her to get killed out there, Michelle, and then she did me. Right. So I, all of a sudden, I called for a couple minutes just screaming at them. And she come running up with, thank God. But Libby was gone. I couldn't find her. I could not find her. I'm running around back there. Did not find her. Oh, no. Well, luckily, all of a sudden, she just shows up, you know, she's a full mover. Full yeah. mover. <laughs> I've seen a picture. I've never seen a wolf. I've never seen a coyote in the wild other than uh, uh, the one Woody shot and has mounted in his house. That's the only coyote I saw. But a guy at work got a wolf. And he was lifting that thing up. That I couldn't even believe how big they are. They are huge. I, I I mean, working up north for 12 years, I've only seen two wolves up there. I mean, back in the mid 80s, I've seen one then up there bow hunting. Mm -hmm. But I've seen two around at home. Really? Two wolves at home. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a wolf track, you know, I haven't been out much this year, but I haven't seen a wolf track this year. But last year, I've seen plenty. plenty. Yeah. That's about it. And now I'm nearing 50 years old. 50. <laughs>
Let's take deep breaths. <laughs> I don't know how those... You should be feeling sorry for me then. I am. I am. I know you're 10 years older, but still, does it feel like that, does it? No, I feel good. I still feel like I'm the little sister, like the little, little sister. Yeah, I still gotta do all the work. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had fun today. Yeah, I had fun too. It was, yeah, we have to do this again. Definitely doing this again.